Hello, everybody, and this is Stacy from The Advisor, and today I'm very excited because we have a very special guest back with us today. He is amazing. His name is Tom Palandino. He has been with us, and he is a energy healer. He is... Um, he is just amazing. The things that he's done and the things that he's capable of doing, he's going to tell you all about it, but I love having him on the show. He is a, a ball of positive energy and he does some amazing things. So I'm going to give the stage to you, Tom. Tell everybody a little about yourself, what you do and what you've been up to since the last time we've spoken. Great to be back. Thank you so much. Um, we're going to speak about energy and how energy can produce a favorable condition for soul, mind, and body. In specific, I work with scalar light or scalar energy. This is the energy of the stars. I've created, if you will, instruments that can capture the energy of the stars. So it's crucial to understand that, that energy as a fundament, energy can heal. But in specific, it's the energy of the stars that's so crucial to our health. We're looking at light in the universe. Where does that light come from? The stars. Hence, where does life, L-I-F-E, come from? It originates from light from the stars. So this is key to my work, going back to the stars, to the light of the stars to give us abundant life. I love it. Now, you were telling me about divine healing and, you know, um, and you have come across a new wave of healing people and helping people really get to the point where they could live a happy, healthy, and productive life and not have to suffer. Now, tell us a little about what divine healing and divine energy is. I believe the energy I'm working with is not electricity. I call it scalar energy, scalar light. Some people might call that zero point energy or chi or prana. To be clear and to distinguish the matter, there's two energies. Yes, electricity is valid, but we're not working with the electromagnetic spectrum. We're working with the initial, the energy, the primal energy of the stars, scalar energy. Now to demonstrate, I have a photograph of a scalar wave. It's a double helix. If you look at that photograph, at the very top that you see a serpentine, if you will, a double helix configuration. That's a time-lapse photograph of a scalar wave. It's beautiful. Below is a pyramid with a Tesla coil inside. And by way of time-lapse photography, you can capture this scalar wave emanating, broadcasting from the pyramid. Again, it's a double helix. Wow. That's the energy I work with. And I could actually take that energy and download that energy, soul, mind, and body into a person. This is the key to my work. And I do it through instruments like this. So if you will, mm -hmm. behind me is a scalar energy instrument. It's a miniature star. To demonstrate if I have a light bulb in my hand, the instrument's so strong it can illuminate a light bulb. Oh, wow. Now, what type of light, what type of energy is that? It's the double helix. Wow. That's the key to my research, having that energy imparted, that double helix, that divine energy imparted into the quantum field. Wow. Now, to be clear, I never work with people. This is not a biological process. This is not a medical process. I'll get into that in a minute. Mm -hmm. But to be clear, I am only working with energy. There's no human interpretation. That's the type of energy I work with, this double helix. And I've always contended that our DNA is the same ratio and proportion as a scalar wave. Wow. If you look at the DNA, the double helix. Yes. Here, it matches ratio by ratio and proportion to our human DNA. Wow. Okay. So I've always considered that the energy of the stars, the intelligence, divine intelligence creates our DNA. Yes. That is the key to my research. Wow. 
Now you have mentioned that you, you, know, you don't have to have the interaction of another human being in the room with you to help them through the healing process that you could actually use their pictures. They can send you pictures and you're Absolutely. able to actually work with the energy from the pictures and, and be able to connect your energy with their energy. So how does that work exactly? So people understand it better. Yeah, that's a good point. So I'm going to hold up. This is my photograph. It has an energy field. And as you stated, I never work with people. I only work with photographs. So this is a new branch to physics in which we don't work with a person in a biological sense. We work with their energy field of a photograph. That's right. You don't come to my laboratory. You email me your photograph. You heard me correctly. <laughs> your photograph has an energy field. Everything is energy. It so happens that a photograph is the identical energy of a person. You don't need to leave your home. You bilocate, you become two people, so to speak. And by way of your photograph, you come to my laboratory. Right. That is how we work with people. And we send this energy, we send this double helix, if you will, download this double helix into you by way of your photograph. Now, again, we don't do this biologically. It's your photograph that receives the action because your energy field is you. Your energy field is on the photograph. Wow. So step back and let's just review. This is not a biological process. We work with force fields, energy fields. I take this instrument and I download energy into your aura or mm -hmm. into your force field. That is, if you will, divine instructions, divine intelligence. That divine intelligence entering into your force field corrects you in a spiritual, mental, emotional, physical state. We correct imbalances through your photograph. Right. Now, maybe you could explain to people, because when I speak to people about energy, when I when I talk to people, there are a lot of skeptics out there that if they can't see it, they don't believe it. And, you know, those are the people that that are hard to see outside the box. Now, can you try to explain in a simplistic way why they sh should understand that there is energy in a picture and, you know, and, and maybe give them some, some facts or some data in a very simple way. So they understand, because a lot of people I come across all the time, cause I'm a big energy believer and, you know, the whole world is made energy. If we wouldn't exist if there was no energy, but to explain to them, you know, wh how there is energy in a picture and why it actually works. So they have a better conception. Okay, so let's go back 100 years ago. And if you had a cell phone and you told somebody I can receive a signal and I could hear your voice yes. or I could see your image by FaceTime. Right. I could I could see you in a in an iPhone or I could see you as I see you now through my computer during this conversation. Yeah. People would say no. You you cannot hear a person through an iPhone. You cannot see a person by way of a video recording. Right. Well, our, our technology has developed to the point that it, that's commonplace. Yeah. Okay. So in substitution of a cell phone, we have a photograph. Right. We can communicate by a cell phone or with scanner energy. It's so advanced. Now, here's the key that you don't need a man-made device. Mm -hmm. A photograph is you. Right. We are we're not dependent upon substations and transformers and satellites. Yes. And TV screens and right. monitors. Yes. Why? Because energy is everywhere. We don't have to interpret. The interpretation has already been made by the energy. Right. My photograph carries soul, mind, and body. Yes. My thank you. My signature of soul, mind, and body are on the photograph. Mm -hmm. I'm going to repeat that. This photograph carries my blood type. It carries my emotional state. This photograph tells me what my heartbeat is right now. Right. In other words, my bi biological and my mental state and my spiritual state are downloaded on that photograph. 
Wow. I've proven this and other researchers have proven this. Yes. A photograph is simply a mirror-like image. Yes. Whatever I am, this is the mirror-like image. Yes. But I never work with the person or biologically because I don't want to work at the biological level. Right. I am not a medical professional. I'm a scanner energy professional and I work at a different level of intelligence. Yes. Rather than chemically, I work at intelligence. Now, when you have, when someone sends you their picture, like what's the next step that you do? Like, how do you process it? Now you showed us exactly what happens. You know, you showed us the example of the DNA and, and, and the light. So when you receive their picture, what is the next step? So people understand. People will email me their photograph. For instance, this is a collage. At the end of the day, I have hundreds upon hundreds of photographs. I print out the photograph. That's all I have to do. Yes. And I place the photograph inside that instrument. The energy heals mm -hmm. the quantum field, not the biological person. Right. The energy heals the information. Okay. Consider everybody has an aura or a spirit. Yeah. That's what I'm working with. I'm not working with flesh and blood or tendons. Right. I'm sending energy or information yes. into the quantum field. Mm -hmm. There's a big difference here. So why not work at the level of cause rather than at the level of effect? Right. Exactly. That's the key, That's the key to my research. I love it. I love it. Now, you've been doing this for a while now. How many years have you been working at this? Because you're our researcher. When did you come across, you know, the the ability to put all this together? Because this is an amazing tool that you've created over the course of the years. You're right. It, thank you. It is a great deal of research. And I'm not the only researcher. I've been at it for 50 years. These instruments, they're, these are custom-built instruments. You'll notice that there's no moving parts. Mm -hmm. You might say... Well, where's the action? The action is from the double helix. Right. You don't you don't need a motor. That's not a motor. The motor are the stars. Right. Okay. So to be clear, this has been years in the making. I've been at this for 50 years. Other researchers have been, been involved. This is a new science. If this is the first time you're hearing this, I understand. Mm -hmm. It won't be the that We're going to change the world with this type of technology. Scanner yeah. energy is going to change the world. Oh, definitely. Definitely. And, you know, you have um, such a, you've had a lot of positive effects. Like a lot of people have used, um, used scalar energy and have been able to actually improve their health. Can you tell us a little about that? Yep. Our website has approximately two to 3,000 testimonies um, about people who say that after submitting their photograph, they feel better. Now, that cannot be explained by medical science because it's not a medical science. Yes. How can anybody explain submitting a photograph allows a person to feel better? Yes. This is a new science once again. So we can't say that there's any comparison to any type of medical technique. It's not medicine. Right. It's a new branch of physics. I've had many people who've sent me photographs, and after they send me a photograph, they say that they feel better. Some people say to the point that I no longer have any symptoms of herpes or even any viral load for herpes. That's one of our testimonies. Can that be explained by medical science? No, because we're not working with the physical form. Right. We're working energetically. Now I'm gonna give the audience uh, an example. When you build something, you start with architectural plans. Right. Architectural plans. And those architectural plans are the blueprints, the blueprints of the building. That's what I'm working with. This is the blueprint of health. These are the instructions of health. This is the physical body, the final manifestation. I work with the blueprints, not with the final physical manifestation. So when the energy um, is released, the scalar energy, that energy goes inside your body, connects with your energy, 
And how does the healing process begin? So if it's not biologically, so how, well, how does it, how does the healing process begin? Can you this is, do this that? Is the, yeah, this is the theory. This type of energy, which is not electricity, carries intelligence. It's a carrier wave of intelligence. Mm -hmm. All, all intelligence is carried. When there's a sufficient scalar wave downloaded into a person, it automatically corrects soul, mind, and body. I'm yes. going to repeat that. This is the key. This scalar wave is self-directed. It's divine energy. This is not man's doing. Mm -hmm. If this is of sufficient strength, it will correct soul, mind, and body. Wow. And you said people, some That's people it. feel that right away, they feel, they start to feel a change within themselves. Yes. Yeah, our new program, we've had it now for two months. People are telling us, many people who've had rheumatoid arthritis, they no longer have pains. Many people have said that their eyesight has started to improve. I've had a, a sports injury, a, a back injury for years. My back is significantly better. My digestion has improved. I don't have the nasal drip that I used to early in the morning. I believe it's this is... Uh, been able to correct an autoimmune condition that I've had. Right. How, how is that possible? Yeah. Without, without me having to take part of anything. Your photograph is a passive receptive. Let's just face this. Yes. When you send me your photograph, it, it doesn't mean you have to change your diet or exercise. A photograph is obviously just a static piece of paper, but it's very dynamic in the quantum field, so to yes. speak. The energy does all the healing at the etheric level, at the level of intelligence. This right. is not described by Newtonian science. This is not Newtonian science. Modern day physics does not consider this to be a valid theorem. However, it's true. And I can prove it by my, by, by my work, by my research. What's the point? This is not taught by academia. What I'm introducing to your audience is groundbreaking. It will change the world. Yeah. I've had people who've been on this program just for two months, and they're telling me that their cancer is in remission. Wow. That's amazing. Now, when you're doing a scalar energy, what about eating habits and taking care of yourself and sleep? I don't dissuade anybody from practicing you know, pro uh, proper uh, hygiene and, and sensible living habits. I will say for myself, when I'm under this program, it reduces my food intake. <laughs> One of the ways we can instruct this instrument is through photographs of antioxidants or vitamins. If I were to take an antioxidant like this and place it in the instrument, glutathione, the energy, would be downloaded into my photograph, into my force field. Yes. So the energy of glutathione is downloaded into me. Okay, so what does that mean? It means that I'm less hungry. I, my, my appetite is, is in some ways satiated. Mm -hmm. Why? Because I receive the energy of glutathione, not the chemical. And with that, I, my body now has been energized with glutathione. Put all of that together, and how does that make sense? I, that's how I receive my nutrients. I don't receive my nutrients necessarily exclusively by way of food. I take photographs of nutrients, riboflavin, oh. and I download it into my quantum field. Okay. I, I don't chemically ingest a vitamin. I energetically receive the vitamin. I got you now. Okay, I okay. see. So the, the upshot is when I do that, Stacy, I'm not quite as hungry because now I have the energy of the vitamin and it, it drops my, if you will, desire for food. It decreases my desire for food. That's amazing. That's amazing. When did you realize um, when you, what brought you to, to want to, um, f study quantum energy? Like, how did you come to a realization that it was so powerful and that it could do so many great things? It was Nikola Tessa, and I learned this over 50 years ago when he was working with scalar energy, how he no longer needed 
in infrastructure. He, he did not need wires or he did not need certain types of motors. The energy, the intelligence does all the work and it pre-exists. This system allows me to work with anybody in the world through their photograph without satellites, TV, screens, conduit, substations. The double helix, the divine energy is everywhere. And when Tesla started working with this energy back in 1899, there were no satellites, but he could, he could transfer this energy anywhere in the world in an instant. Yeah. So back in 1899, Tesla proved we don't need satellites or substations or power stations or grids and infrastructure. The infrastructure is the universe. Right. Tesla was not using an infrastructure in 1899. Today, we have a multi-trillion dollar infrastructure that's expensive, dangerous, mm -hmm. and in many ways becoming obsolete. Yeah. Wow. So if people wanted to contact you and they wanted to start feeling better, how would they get a hold of you? What would be the first step? First step is go to the website, our website, scannerlight.com. We want people to sign up for 15 days of free session, meaning when you go to our website, you're going to upload your photograph and you can send your entire family with their permission, include your pets. We treat you for 15 days for free. No questions asked. This divine intelligence is going to balance your chakras, balance your chakras. We're going to deliver nutrients. We'll identify germs, microbes, eliminate them all through this divine intelligence. That's the key. So that's step one. If you're, if you're intrigued, go to the website, scannerlight.com, sign up for 15 days of free sessions. Then you prove to yourself after 15 days, you'll probably feel significantly better by simply accepting this divine intelligence. Right. That's amazing. And if people have any questions um, on your website, do you have information or do they contact you directly? Like what's the best thing for them to do? If Because I'm sure people are going to have lots of questions for you because people don't know a lot about scalar energy because there's not a lot of information out there, but there's a lot of research that's been done over the course of decades. But when people don't hear it all the time, they, you know, um, they want to learn more about it and understand it. So what would be the best way to, to learn about scalar energy? So they to contact you directly? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So at our website, you can send us an email or, or a telephone us. We'll answer your question. Uh, we have people always answering questions and that's a good point. It's a new science. We have to explain what we're doing. This is a new science and ask questions. We're open to that. The first step though, Go to the website and just email us your photograph. Let You have to experience. It's sort of like a restaurant. If you want to experience the food at a restaurant, you, you go to the restaurant. I think I think it's amazing. I think it's amazing. And you said you have over 2,000 testimonials about how people felt better after using it. Now, is this something that you consistently do on an ongoing basis? Like once you start Scalar Energy, does it become a part of you? Does it become a daily lifestyle? Or is it something that you do when you're not feeling 100%? Um, you know, how do people like in, um, incorporate Scalar Energy into their life? Is it something that, that needs to be done consistently? Not necessarily, because most people after two or three months, they feel much better. Some people say, I want to feel great year round. They sign, we have a 12 month program. Well, we leave everything up to the people. Why? It's a new science. Everybody's free to choose when they want to join or, or if you will, drop off. But most importantly, only you, you can make that decision. I don't know how you feel. Right. So, there are month-long sessions, 30 days. There's no long-term commitment. Just sign up as you will. That's amazing. That's amazing. So um, all they need to do is go on the website, and that's scalarlight.com, and they can ask any questions. They can contact you directly. Yes. And, um, this is, this is amazing. And you basically, you know, you do everything. So you're doing the whole That's process. You just need their pictures. They can send it to you by email. 
and then you could start the process. Is there is there a process where they they have they stay in contact with you or they they keep keep updated with you or is it something that you know once once you start the process, what happens after that? Once the sessions begin, people can ask us questions, but we allow people their privacy. We'll always okay. ask answer the question, but some people just they want to be able to, if you will, objectively construe whether this is ha helping or not so we leave them alone okay we let them we let them decide i understand okay all right that sounds great that sounds great so um this is amazing i love it i love it um all right so uh we go to so everybody listen you go to www.scalarlight.com scale and and then you know tom will be there to answer any questions and they can just use your contact to send pictures and is, are you on the um any of the social networks also if they want to follow you or contact you I am. Go to the website and at the very bottom of the website, have, you have all of our uh, social handles. So by all means, but start with the website. It's a new science. You have to start somewhere. Start at the website. Okay. And also, um, I was going to ask you, um, if you had to take away from everything that we discussed today, if you had to emphasize on a, a few things, what would you like the listeners to understand today? The takeaway is this. <clears throat> We finally have a modality working with divine energy. There's no human reasoning behind this instrument. Hence, mm -hmm. there's no room for human error or human interpretation. Okay. I simply place a person's photograph under the influence of this divine energy. Okay. And the energy does all the work. It's oh, non-physical, non non-chemical. There's no chemical drawback. In other words, you cannot have an allergic reaction. Yeah. There's no negative side effects. Nobody has ever had a bad effect, side effect with a photograph. It's impossible. Right. That's amazing. I love it. Well, I, you know what? I'm going to be sending you a picture of, of me and my family once we get off of the podcast together. And, uh, I, you know, every time I talk to you, I, I always just love hearing about it because it's, you know, I, I am a very deep believer when it comes to energy and, you know, the stars, the, you know, the, the universe itself, everything, you know, we're all run by energy and, you know, people have to realize that, you know, that we can heal ourselves, you know, through the blockages, you know, and, and unblock the, the energy and, and to bring good energy into somebody else, you know, and uh, there's so much more you could, you can dive into and talk about today, but I, I love the fact that you built this machine. I love the fact that, you know, you're working with energy and, uh, you know, people really need to understand the power of energy and how, you know, energy is in everything, you know, and you don't have to physically touch somebody or, you know, even Reiki, they don't touch anybody when they do Reiki, you know, it's just, you know, energy is everywhere and, you know, and the healing process is amazing. And, uh, I, I love what you're doing and uh, I'm very excited, you know, to, you know, hear from you again and continue this conversation. Now, is there anything else you'd like to tell the listeners before we go? No, you're a great hostess. That's my final comment. Thank you. <laughs> you're very welcome. Well, today was amazing. And I thank you so much for providing us with all this information. And I thank you so much for, you know, d dedicating your entire life to this and, and figuring out ways that you can actually help people and improve their health. Because you know, nowadays, there are so many things out there that are hurting people, you know, and, and you know, and you know, it, it, popping a pill is not the answer, you know, to everything. And, uh, you know, if we can do things naturally and we can improve our lives, you know, through the, through the works of energy and, and, you know, the, the different natural ways of the world of, uh, you know, things that can actually help us, you know, that's where we got to go, you know? So thank you so much. I appreciate you coming on the show and I can't wait to talk to you again. Thank you.